In this video, I'll show you how to use Remote Play on your PC computer. This way, you're gonna be able to play your PS5 games, no matter if you're at home or away from your PS5. So let's get started. First thing, we need to go on the TV that is connected with your PS5 and change some settings. Okay, so the first step is to go into the settings of your PS5. So over here, we're gonna go on the top right corner, settings, then go down and select system. Go down until you see remote play on the left side, click your X button. And over here you see the first option should be enable remote play. Click on it and make sure that it's turned on over the account you will use it with. So in my case, I'll use this one over here. So I'll turn it on. You can turn on on all the accounts if you plan using them on remote play. Then go back, go back. And under remote play, there's an option called power savings. Click on this one. Then select features available in reset, in rest mode, sorry. And make sure that over here, stay connected to the internet and the other one, enable turning on PS5 from network are both turned on. Because if you're planning to use remote play and you're not at home, you want the PS5 to be connected to the internet, even if it's in rest mode, so that you can play while not being at home. So if, it, if you don't turn these on, unfortunately, the PS5 will never know that you want to use uh, remote play, so it will never turn on and broadcast the game. Once you do this, go back. Then we still need to change one thing. So go back, go back, go and select users and accounts. Go down, select other. And the first option should be console sharing and offline play. Select this one. And we need to enable this feature because your account should be the primary account if you want to use remote play. So in my case, it's already enabled. If, it, if yours is not uh, already enabled, you're gonna see an option over here to click enable. Great, so at this point, uh, there is no other setting to change. The PS5 is ready to remote play. Before going away from your PS5, what you need to do is to put it in rest mode. Do not turn it off. If you turn it off, it will not be able to wake up when you use remote play on your device. So how do you do this? Well, you probably already know, but I'll press the PS button here and down below you're gonna get the option. Go to the last one on the right side, press power. And over here, you need to select enter rest mode every time. Do not select turn off. So I select rest mode, it will take a few seconds. And now it's time to go on the device you're planning to use remote play with. Once you've done this, go on your PC computer and just type on Google Remote Play. One of the first results should be from the official PlayStation website over here, PS Remote Play, click on it. And then you're gonna have a download button, click download, select Windows PC. Click I agree and select download. Okay, once the file has been downloaded, I'll just open the folder here. Go ahead and double click the remote play installer. Yes, we can close these windows in the back. Select your language, press OK. Press next, next install then press finish and make sure launch ps remote play is selected and then from here we need to sign in into your playstation network account so click sign in enter the email associated with your psn account press next and now enter the password press confirm and continue select PS5, then press OK. Now we just have to wait 
it will wake up your PS5 that is currently in rest mode. So it will take around a minute. Be patient and yeah, after that you're gonna see your PlayStation 5 screen appearing on your PC. Meanwhile, let me show you how you connect your controller to your PC, it's very easy. So we need to go into the Bluetooth settings. On the lower right side of your screen, you should have the Bluetooth icon. If not, click the small arrow. You see, this is the Bluetooth icon. Click on it and select Add Bluetooth Device. From here, what we need to do is to put the controller in pairing mode. So we're gonna press the PS button and the share button both at the same time until the lights are flashing blue on the controller. Here we go. Now release, put the controller aside close to your PC and over here select add device. Select Bluetooth, the first option. Your controller will appear under the name of DualSense Wireless Controller. Click on it and this is it, it's connected. So we can press done and close this window. And here we go, we have our PS5 meanwhile, it has connected. But overall, right now you can go ahead and play your game, everything should work fine. By the way, if you wanna use the full screen option, simply click on the lower right side here and it'll put it in full screen mode. Anyway, once you're done and you want to exit, don't forget to put your PS5 in rest mode and not turn it off because yeah, if you do this, you won't be able to use remote play again unless you wake up physically your PS5. So over here, you can do it with your controller, but you can also use your PC mouse. You can click the PS button down below. Okay, like this. And yeah, the same thing as on your PS5, go and select power and select enter rest mode. Once you put your PS5 in rest mode, it will disconnect remote play as well. Here we go, you lost connection, press okay. And this is about it. You can disconnect your controller by going into the Bluetooth settings and over here where it says connected, press the three dots, click remove device. And next time you'll need to add again your controller if you want to use it. On the PS Remote app, next time you want to play, you open the app and you don't need to log in anymore. You simply need to click this blue button over here and it'll bring you on um, your PS5. So this is it. I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.